All right, just got a quick exoskeleton update for you guys this week, and we're focusing on the helmet. So we're going to be using the Macross Motocross helmet. Um, we're probably going to be painting it matte black because it's a bit, it's a bit gaudy with the, the, the red cherry red look. But the beauty is the meta glasses, which I've shown in a previous video, and these are our heads-up display goggles, actually fit inside of this helmet. So we can modify it so we can actually have a heads-up display inside the helmet. And once we have that is when the fun starts. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to have thermal vision using the Seek Thermal. There's a link in the description. We're going to be using night vision with a Raspberry Pi and a regular GoPro for high-definition video recording while using the exoskeleton. So let's take a closer look at each of those components. All right, so we got the night vision camera set up with the Raspberry Pi, and what we have right here is actually a tactical infrared flashlight. So you can see on the camera, it's not illuminating me, but if you look to see what the, the night vision camera is seeing, it's like it's a bright flashlight. And look, my shirt is white now, you can barely even see the logo. It's kind of cool. So what this is used for is actually for hunting, so you can use this with a tactical night vision so no one else can see what you can. So this is a pretty awesome application that we can use for the exoskeleton. Alright, so we've got all our cameras hooked up right now. Uh, we'll be using a GoPro mounted on the back of the helmet so you have a reverse camera view. We'll be using a standard video camera with 60x optical zoom so you can actually zoom in um, while you're using the helmet. Then we have night vision using the Raspberry Pi. We have a Seek Thermal, so we have thermal vision using this, which is connected through a cell phone. And to connect it all to the heads-up display, we're actually just using an HDMI switcher. And the cool thing with that is it's got a remote. So basically we'll have the remote on your arm and you'll be able to switch between the different cameras just like that. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So right now I'm looking through this camera and I have zoom capabilities. That is really cool. Now if I take the remote and I switch to camera one, I get a blue screen of death. Alright, so we have all the camera feeds working now and we're going to show you exactly what I'm seeing using the cell phone camera, so bear with me. All right, so let's take a look at what the camera is seeing now. So, if I hit F5 on the keyboard, can you see my hand? All right, so this is the night vision uh, flashlight, and it's actually an infrared flashlight, and you should be able to see that quite brightly. Uh, we'll do a test outside in the dark later. And now if we switch, let's switch to input number two. Now, input number two should be the GoPro, I believe. And then input number three is the other camera over here. Yeah. And finally, input number four is our thermal vision right over here. So you can see my hand is, no? That's number five then. Yes? No? Am I no longer casting? Still on number three. Uh, yeah. So there's the but thermal it's camera. Too bright for the camera to pick up. Okay. Anyways, uh, you get the idea. We still need to package all this together now. Actually, I'm going to turn on the other camera. All right. So that's how it's all going to work. We just have to package it all together onto the helmet. And once we're done, it is going to be pretty awesome. It's going to be a full tactical heads-up helmet with night vision, thermal vision, a reverse camera, and zoom. So if you have any questions about any of the parts that we're using, check out the description below the video and we have links to each of these products that we are using. This video is made possible by Jord Wooden Watches. I received my Dover watch about a month ago and I like to wear it when I'm going out. I've received tons of compliments on it, but I don't want to wear it around the shop because as you know, we do some pretty dangerous stuff around here. <laughs> damage it because it's a pretty nice looking watch. I especially like how you can see the inner workings of this watch. It's even got a perpetual oyster movement which from an engineering perspective it's an amazing little invention. They have a huge selection on their website of wooden watches and they've actually teamed up with us to do a giveaway for our subscribers. 
So, if you're interested in winning your own wooden watch, check out the link in the description. And don't forget to enter the contest. Thanks for watching.